Hello. To coin a phrase, I got this. That is the EverDrive 64. Now, many, most, all of you, I don't know, should be familiar with whatever drives are. But if you're not, it is a cartridge, in this case, that goes into the Nintendo 64, just like a normal game cartridge, except you have an SD card that goes in the slot there. And onto that, you can put Nintendo 64 ROMs, which you download from Tinterwebs. Obviously only for cartridges you already own, because copyright A, especially Nintendo. Um, yeah, there. what can I tell you on a technical level about this? How does this differ, maybe, from other EverDrives I've tried? Um, region, or rather TV mode, seems to be an issue in that my Nintendo 64 is PAL, and while I can put NTSC ROMs onto this, um, and it will run them, the graphics come out wrong. The colour is wrong. It, it just looks weird. You're getting a strange screen door effect and the colour is all smeary and weird and just not right. Kind of black and white, but with coloured bits. Um, so, straight out of the box, you can't run NTSC ROMs on the PAL N64. Now, I have read that there is a patch or a command or something you do in some setting somewhere that will fix that. I haven't investigated that. Um, also, that there are other patches that I haven't investigated, like um, removing Nintendo's what I would call super fuzzo vision. They would call it anti-aliasing. I would just call it blurry graphics, really. Um, yeah, that, that apparently you can do that. I haven't investigated that either. I'm not inclined to do it myself because I want to show the games as they would appear on a real cartridge. And if that means inferior, so be it. Uh, one other thing of note on this, and I don't think you're going to be able to see it, maybe, just, just inside there is a tiny little switch. And that is for switching between NTSC and PAL. Now I wondered if that would allow me to run NTSC games on a PAL TV. It did not. Um, I think it's necessary to have the correct setting on this to run it on a given N64. So this is on the PAL setting. I put it onto the NTSC mode and it just plain didn't do anything. It didn't boot up or anything. So I suspect that would only work, and this cartridge would only work in that mode if you put it into an NTSC N64. Something worth noting. Later, this is a version 2.5 EverDrive 64. It cost 109, was it, pounds? Um, there is a more expensive one called version 3, which is something like, something like 175 pounds. Uh, I wasn't going to buy one of them. And I must say, now, before I continue, an immense great big thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon, because it was with their support and contributions that I was able to buy this. Um, I saved up two months' worth of contributions and ordered this. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't going to order a, a version 3, because this will um, do the job. In fact, it does do the job very nicely. I have tried it. There is another feature on here, which um, I didn't know about initially. It will run um, NES ROMs, which is really cool. It's that's not an unusual thing on EverDrives in that the Mega Drive, Mega EverDrive, will let you run Master System ROMs on the Mega Drive. But the difference there is the Mega Drive basically has Master System. Blah, master system architecture built in as part of it. If you remember the master base converter thing is basically just a glorified cartridge adapter. Um, so the, the Mega EverDrives would let you run master system software and they would run natively 
on the Mega Drive. This has an emulator. I'm not sure exactly what's happening. Is there, there must be some kind of patching thing on here so that if you run a NES ROM or select a NES ROM in the menu, it um, launches a NES emulator on the N64. I imagine stored on this. Um, it works. That's all I can say about it. I can't speak for the quality or otherwise of it. Um, it works. Am I going to use it to record NES gameplays? I am unsure. We will have a look because I'm going to plug this in and turn it on and just show you what it does because, you know, menu system, you might be interested. Bear with me, I'll plug it in, turn it on and you can see for yourselves. Okay, so when you boot it up, this is the screen you come to, page one of one, ED64. I don't know what happens if you, nothing happens if you press the B button, press the start button. Okay, it boots into the last game that you ran. I didn't know I was going to do that actually, I was about to press the A button, but I thought I'll press the start button and see what it does anyway. What was the last game I ran? Yeah, whatever, start anyway. What did we run? Uh, GT. Gran Turismo. What? No Gran Turismo. Yeah. God. Whatever. That's not actually what I want to show you. But the fact that it does that, press start and just go straight to the last game you played, I think is quite cool. And... There is a, uh, let's go to the, right, this is like the root menu. Don't know what auto does, to be honest. Don't know what that does either. Now, we've got N64 and NES folders. It's kind of self-explanatory, really, what they are. You've got ROMs in them. Save. You can save game progress with this without having like a memory card thing that you would normally have plugged into your joypad and I haven't got one in this because the battery on my ones is my ones on my one is dead but it, it, the way it works on this and it's different on the version 3 but on here to save your progress on a game you press reset it's strange but there it is you reset the system and it will save the game and then you like relaunch and now I wonder can I say can, can I I'm gonna have a go at one byte swap I, I don't know what will that do no idea um, I don't know what that did so we'll bang out of that and we'll see um, Select and start, select only, ROM info, I have no idea, will it, will it, will it start at the start or will it start where the, um, don't know. Come on. No, it doesn't appear to have, um, no save or anything appears to have taken effect. So I don't know quite how that works. There is a save feature. No idea. Um, maybe someone else out there will know. But anyway, that shows you how it works, like how you load a game from the menu. Uh, it's all pretty easy stuff. Saving aspect, not so sure. There, did you see it? Save. Um, peculiar. Um, um, I don't... what's in auto? No idea what any of that is. But also, we've got the NES stuff. Uh, now, I'm not really...
I don't play an awful lot on the NES, so I don't know quality-wise, sound-wise, graphics-wise, how authentic this is. You tell me. Yay, and still don't know what that was. Whoops. Yeah, so as you can see, it works. Um, I can't imagine they can screw up NES emulation that badly. Though I do know... Well, I don't know. There are some other games on here that are PAL, but are not... Um, they're not European region, they're Asian region, but PAL graphics mode. And I hoped... Let's see if I can find one. I had hoped that they would run. But I've only tried... Here we go. Final Combat. Yeah. Okay, that starts off okay. But then it does that. Um, I don't know, is that just a bad ROM? It doesn't get better. Let's see if we can find another of these Asian ones. Um, I like this one. Great, the Great Wall. I haven't tried this one, I don't know what... No, Unsupported Mapper. Okay. Basically, I don't know if this will run NTSC ROMs. I haven't tried. All I put on here was PAL European releases. Um, so, who knows? Reset, please. Now it doesn't want to reset, we'll just power off and on again because that's the technical way to fix everything. So there it is. Um, it is slightly quirky, but it does the basics very nicely. Uh, you can run your N64 games on this, you can have a lot of them, and let's be honest, they're, well, they certainly weren't cheap back in the day. I haven't really looked at the prices of e uh, N64 cartridges on eBay recently, partly because... <laughs> this, is, this is going to raise questions now. I love the EverDrive. I love what it does, I love the concept, I love the fact that it works. And I am really appreciative of my Patreon supporters for enabling me to buy one. Why did I choose one for the N64? Because here's the thing, I don't like the N64. <laughs> why, why would I? Um, simple answer being, because it's there, it exists, it is an important part of gaming history and I want to be able to bring you videos of the games that are on it. And some of them I like a lot. A lot of them, an awful lot of them, I'm not familiar with at all. Which is why on uh, on my Patreon page I actually asked for suggestions. Given that most of you know the kind of games that I like. Um, I said, you know, what's good on this? What should I try? And was given a fair few very good suggestions. Um, the N64 itself... It's the Smero vision, super smeary fuzzo vision that I dislike greatly and there's something very wooden and clunky which we will come to when I start recording videos. Um, uh, I've, I tried a few just to see what they were like because I'm not familiar with the system all that much. Um, wooden. <laughs> we, we will see, you will see, I already know. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to try, I always try to be fair, but you know, bias being what it is, I'm a PlayStation kind of guy. Mm. So this is going to be fun. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's all I can show you about this. It is, I, I, Everdrives, love them. I think they're fantastic. They enable you to play retro hardware and not have to amass an immense stack of cartridges to play a lot of games. And I've always said, I'm a collector of hardware. I'm not a collector of software. I don't care about having a big pile of cartridges or discs or floppies or whatever. Like, not interested. I just want the hardware. So an EverDrive for me is absolutely perfect. And 
there will always be some people who just don't quite get it and say, but emulation, it's not real. And I keep saying, it's not emulation, except the NES ones on here. That is emulation, but mm. yeah, you're playing the real code on real hardware, so it's cool. OK, that's pretty much all I've got to say. There will be, obviously, now N64 gaming videos upcoming, along with more SNES games and VIC-20 games, and whatever else I choose to record in the meantime. And there will be more other things, because I've got a lot of stuff set up here, sort of ready to just plug in and play and record. So, yep, there will be more. OK, I'm going to shut up because I am waffling and stuff. Thank you for watching. What do you mean, subscribe to his Patreon? I already paid for breakfast. What more does he want? What? Oh, seemed he wasn't invited. Oh, I suppose I could eat his as well.